The basic crossover, when used correctly and at the right time, can be one of the most effective moves in basketball. Correct application of the crossover should result in the defender going the opposite way of the offensive player and in some cases falling. To execute this move properly, the ball should be extended out as far east and west as possible. Extending the ball east and west will force the defender to react and to defend the ball side penetration lane, thereby opening the off ball side penetration lane. This also gives the offensive player time to read which lane the defender has chosen to defend and counter accordingly. Even though the ball is extended east and west, your feet should still be in a north-south stance. This will make it easier to accelerate through the open penetration lane once the ball has been crossed over. When crossing the ball over, the ball should be dribbled no higher than the knee and in a perfect scenario, the ball should be dribbled ankle high. Crossing the ball over this low makes it more difficult for the ball to be stolen. This is another move that the sheer ball speed alone with which it can be executed will leave the defender shell-shocked and stunned. Most likely, the defender will regain their senses right at the end of the crossover and will shift to guard against it late. The late shifts make the finishing around the back so devastating because as the defender is moving in one way, you should be moving the exact opposite, leaving no chance for recovery. The last variation of the snapback, the behind the back, is the most difficult out of the three to execute, but in turn offers the most protection. The concept is the same except the ball is dribbled behind the back and no access to the ball is given to the defender. The focal point of execution for this move is balance and footwork when snapping the ball behind your back. The AI is another great move for players who like to use the basic crossover. It can be broken down into three parts. The first part of this move is an exaggerated crossover, which is designed to shift the defender. As the offensive player, you are really not trying to attack the basket on the first crossover, but merely trying to get the defender off balance. The second part of this move is a series of dribbles that can be whatever suits you and your game. The purpose of these dribbles is to let the defender recover from the first initial crossover, setting them up for the finale. Once the defender has recovered and back in a defensive stance, it is time to finish them off. The last move in the AI should be an over-exaggerated basic crossover with the intention of really knocking your opponent out of the box. If you are looking for a move to really break a defender's ankles, the AI is definitely the answer.
This move is what we call shock and awe. It will shock your opponent and all the crowd. The behind the back with the Hezo into the behind the back is an extremely difficult move to perform successfully and should only be attempted once you have mastered all basic and advanced moves. This move is designed to intimidate the defender and highlight your superior ball handling skill. Once you have executed the Hezo and into the final stage of the behind the back, it is really up to you how you want to finish your opponent. The key is to be decisive and go with your instinct. 